Okay, so here is the link and you can uh, open the YouTube, then you can start watching there and then you can uh, mute and then you can minimize. Can you see the Adobe Illustrator on your screen, everyone? Okay, so now I will start here with our next lesson. Now this lesson is basically about creating shapes. Okay, okay. Uh, not creating, basically creating what uh, we did in the last class. This is editing shape. If you already have some, uh, some shapes and you want to edit them and then combining the two or three shapes together, okay, and paths. Shapes are basically enclosed uh, like items, okay? And paths are lines and open uh, like, you know, lines, those things are paths. So we will see how to edit and combine shapes and paths in this lesson, okay? So uh, I will open a file, the one that I gave you already, the lesson file. So I will go to here. I already opened it last time, so I will open it again. So here I have this file, okay? And basically this file contains a, uh, a, like a scene over here and some artboards, okay? So I can switch between artboards from here, from the bottom, if you will see. I can go to even any one of these artboards one by one, but the one that I want to go right now is this one, okay? So what are these? Let me show you one by one. These are different kind of shapes. So this is a, a raw shape which is given to us and we have to convert that into this one. Okay, so we will learn how to convert this shape into this shape. Okay, so suppose this one, the end result should be this, how we can do that, how we can do this and then this, then this. So one by one, we will start doing that. Okay. Now, the first editing tool that we will learn right now is the scissor tool. Now, what does the scissor tool do? Scissor tool works on the path, okay? If you will see over here on the screen, let me zoom in. I have this shape, okay? This is a, a like a normal rectangle with a white fill and a black stroke. Now the black stroke is what? Black stroke is basically a path, which is this. So a scissor tool, what it do is that it cuts the stroke or you can say the path, okay, uh, into two parts. How we can do that? Let's first see where we can find the scissor tool, okay. Now a uh, scissor tool basically uh, usually you can find some uh, in the eraser. If you will see the eraser, you just have to keep the eraser press okay and you will find the scissor tool okay now once you have the scissor tool uh, you can click any part of the path okay now let me show you here if you will see here the shape is like this and this is what we need to achieve okay so in order to uh, mimic that if you will see this purple part okay this purple part is basically what the white part is currently right now. So we have to convert this white part as this purple. Okay. So you can see that I can easily take my direct selection tool and I can take any one of these and move and try to reshape that uh, them. So it will look like this, but I cannot do that right now. Why? The reason is that because I don't have enough number of points over here to mimic something as this. So what I will do here is that I will use my scissor tool, okay, to achieve that uh, final result. So I'll take the scissor tool here. And as you can see, this path have four points, one, two, three, four, okay? So if I will take this scissor tool and click, anywhere here okay in the path okay on the path so what will happen it will cut that and divide that into two parts so if i will click it here suppose and now you can see closely if i will go there are two 
points here. It's not one, it's two, but they are on top of each other. So it likes, it looks like it's one. Now I cannot use my selection tool to move those. I have to use my direct selection tool. Okay. To reshape anything or to move these anchor points, you always have to use the direct selection tool. Now I can freely uh, move any one of these points. Okay. Like this or like this. Okay. And I will try to mimic that shape but okay it was something like this so i will move it here with this one point and other point i will move it here okay i think it was a little bit here okay so if i go here and check yes we are almost there. Now we just have to change the color. Now, one thing you, uh, uh, which is very important here, when you use the scissor tool, what it do is that it cuts your path. So you can see that there is a black stroke all around, but there is no black stroke here. The reason is that because this is not a joined path. There is a cut, there is a gap between that. So it, is not a complete shape there will be an issue all the time whenever you will work on it so you have to make sure this there is a line between these two there is a joint between these two so how we can join that it's quite easy you have to take your selection tool deselect everything by clicking anywhere outside then click your object that you want to have a joint in like this one i will click it now okay the reason i deselect and select it back was that because it was selected with the direct selection tool before so it have to be selected with the selection so i have to deselect and select it back in order to join it now this shape is the shape where i have a gap and if i will see, you will see here in the quick actions you will see join so what does the join do join checks your shape calculates wherever there is a gap and it will fill that gap so I will just when I press the join you will notice that automatically it will join it so now it's a complete shape so when it is a complete shape I can easily uh, now recolor it okay because it's a complete shape so I have to use the same colors that it was uh, using uh, uh, like that that the uh, other image has used so I will click on it go to stroke I will uh make the stroke transparent the reason is that because the stroke over here is transparent okay if you can see there is no stroke over here so basically i will remove the stroke then i will go to fill and i will choose the uh basically this fill color okay this is the one that they are using so in the fill i will use this color now once this is done so what I can do, I can select the whole thing, just like making a marquee selection around it. And in the quick actions, I will see group and I will click on the group. When I click on the group, so it will become like a one group. So I don't have to select each and every part in order to move it. Okay. So that's uh, how you can use a, uh, like a scissor tool to cut paths in order to reshape it and then you can join them together that's the scissor like the scissor tool helps you to do it helps you to uh, to split a path into two or three paths. as many times you will click it will split uh, that and then you can reshape it once you are done you can select the shape join it and you will have it the shape that you're looking for now let's see uh, this one here if you will notice that there is a uh, kind of a wave here there is no wave it is same as it was before like uh, you know it is all same okay like it's all solid fill uh, like pinkish uh, you can say cylinder okay there is no wave in it so in order to do a wave uh, there is no use of scissor tool here obviously because scissor tool cannot give you a wave there is a tool which is known as knife tool here is the knife tool if you don't see the knife tool on your screen, so you have to click this extra uh, tools button. Here will be the knife. Okay, so as you can drag the knife and move it here. Because before I uh, I didn't have this, so what I did, I just clicked it. I uh, got this. I drag it and 
pulled it here. Okay, so now I have the knife. Now, what does the knife tool do? It's very simple to use. Okay, when you take a knife tool, you can easily cut in any kind of shape. And while you're making a shape to cut your object, it will be very smooth. It will give you a kind of a smooth result. Okay, so I will mimic the like this kind of wave. Not 100%, but I'll try my best to mimic it. So I will. What I'll do? I will just go here, start making a wave like this. And you can notice that while I'm moving my mouse, it is becoming smoother that way. Okay. Now I have created the wave here. Now still I'm inside the knife mode. So I have to go outside the knife mode. So I will click here in the selection tool, and then. Uh, they both are selected at the moment. So uh, like the one at the top one at the bottom. So I have to deselect both of them then select the top one. So now you can see they are uh, they have split into uh, two parts. Okay, so I will take the first one. I'll go to the fill. Okay, and now inside the fill I will choose this uh, pink color. Okay, or maybe I have a lighter one. Okay, so maybe I'll use the lighter one. It's better. Okay, now what I can do as it is inside, uh, like as in this image, the box is overlapping the top part of the cylinder. So what I would do here, I'll do the same thing. I'll take this top part of the, uh, like I will take the square, move it down. Okay. Now while you're moving it down, you can press Shift key on your keyboard so it can come straight uh, down. Okay. Now it's fine. So I have completed now. Now what I will do, same thing. I will select all of it by making a marquee selection. Okay. Uh, yes, all the uh, the uh, streams that uh, like all all the lectures that we are covering, they all are on YouTube. So if you are late or if you were not able to take the class. Anytime you can go on the YouTube uh, on my channel and in the playlist in the Adobe Illustrator playlist, you will find all the lectures. Okay. So now here they are, I have selected all of it and then I will press here group. So it will be a group. Okay. So now I have this as a group, same as this. Okay. So this is how I cut it into uh, with the knife. I split that into half. Then I recolored it and then I placed it and then I made the group. So this is uh, how you use it. Uh, knife tool. Now uh, let's use the knife tool over here to make this uh, very, uh, like, you know, opening of the tent here. Okay. Now this time what I will do is that I will use the knife tool. But as you know, when I was using the knife tool in my previous uh, shape, it was making a wave. But as you can see here, it's more like a, uh, you can say, uh, kind of a, uh, you know, straight line. Okay, it's not waved. So how we can make a straight line? Okay, suppose if I will select this one, take my knife tool and try to make a straight line. So you can see I cannot make a straight line clearly. It will always make something like a weird shape like this. Okay, now to make a straight line, you can sh press shift on your keyboard and then draw. Okay. Okay. Let me start drawing. When you start drawing, you can press the shift key. Wait. Uh, okay. One more thing in, uh, you have to do here is that you have to press caps lock on your screen. Uh, why? Because right now I can see a, a knife cursor. So it will not count it as a reg like a uh, like a uh, regular item so if i press cap caps lock so i will get this kind of a cursor like a crosshair okay so now it will allow me to uh, use the shift key okay so let me check why it's not working so i think i have to press shift then draw Okay, straight. Okay, and then just like that. Okay, so I have to press shift key, then draw down. So it will make a straight line. Okay, then again I will press shift key, 
then draw it over here corner okay so it will make a straight line uh, then what I can do is that I can select this part and change its color to yellow it's something like this so it will become something as this okay so uh, it will allow you to draw in a straight line if you uh, press the shift key on your keyboard and okay and then when you draw I, f uh, I think it's more better let me uh, draw it again instead of pressing only shift let me press alt and shift on the keyboard if you're using mac then you have to use option and shift but if you're using uh, windows then alt and shift I think Alt and Shift will be much more better. So see, Alt and Shift is giving you much more better result. So while you start drawing, you can make one line here. Now I press Alt and Shift again, start making another line. But this line, you can see that with the Alt Shift is quite, uh, you can say, uh, like a, on 65 degrees. So what I will do, I will keep my mouse pressed, but I will leave Alt and sh uh, Shift from my keyboard so still it will make a straight line but it, it it will be not on 65 degrees or something like that so i can leave wherever i want and it will be a straight line so you can leave alt and shift anytime on your keyboard if you want a little bit fine tuning a uh, fine tuned angle okay now what i will do is that i will take this part go to fill create a uh, like and change the color so alt and shift can also do and with the help of alt shift you can do more extra stuff, uh, stuff like just i told you about right now it's better to use the alt shift or option sh uh, option shift if you're using Mac. okay so this is how you can use uh your uh your uh, like knife tool with the shift key okay now let's go on the other one like this one here i want to convert this one as this okay so as you know this is not a shape okay it's not a filled shape this is what this is a stroke if you will see here there is no fill color that means there is no fill it's a line okay it's not a shape like a rectangle it's a straight line okay it's because how you do you know it's uh, how do you know how can you like figure it out that it's a line it's not a shape because shape does not have fill okay oh, sorry uh, line does not have fill it only have stroke and there is a stroke value which is 20 that means which is very thick stroke okay so if I will reduce the stroke you can see it's a line so so the stroke is to uh, the, you know it, the value is too high that's why it looks like it's a square so if it is a fill so fill does not rely on stroke it's uh, like there is a fill color inside okay and it's a closed shape this is not a closed shape you can see it's a straight line now what i want to do is that i want to convert this line into a shape okay so how i can do that to convert a line into a shape okay you can go to object okay and option you can go to the path okay and then what you can do is that you can go and choose outline stroke so what it will do is that it will convert that straight line into a shape now you can see there is a shape now just see there is no stroke but there is fill and you can see there is no straight line here it's all around here okay that's how you can make you can convert that into a stroke so uh, like uh, you can convert stroke into a shape now with the help of shift key and moving tool what i can do is that i can bring it down straight okay and i will keep it selected now what i will do this time i will select my eraser tool and i will start erasing this part from here so it will look like this okay so uh, where is the eraser tool here within the scissors i will take this eraser tool uh, it's too big for me so i will double click on the eraser tool itself to change its size of the square of the uh, eraser tool right now it is 40 so i don't want 40 i want it to be 20. i will press 20 i will type 20 and press ok 
So just what I did, I double clicked it here, I changed the size and I pressed OK. Now, what I can do here is that if you will notice if I start making a shape like this, it's erasing everything. Okay, it looks like it is erasing everything, but it's not erasing everything. It's only erasing the one which was selected. So this was selected, so it was so it erased only this part. Okay, so I will erase this as well. So something like this. Not it's not that neat, but uh, I try to achieve that result. It's kind of uh, okay. So I will select it all and group it. So eraser tool you can also erase but you have to select that object that you want to erase okay and then you can erase it and you cannot erase the group because right now it's a group if i if i will erase the group let's see what uh, let's see what happens it erases the whole thing okay so make sure it's not in the group uh, otherwise it will erase the whole group now let's go to the other part and see what we have here so here we have this okay now if you remember we use the knife tool two times one time without the shift key uh, without the alt and shift second time we use the alt and shift to create straight line to erase it okay now here what i want to do is that i want to uh, change the shape of this uh, van over here if you will see i want some this kind of a shape okay like a slantly uh, trimmed area like here like a chamfered kind of uh, edge okay so if i will take my if i will uh, if i want to erase this part first of all i have to select this by making a mark you around it it will be selected now without a shift key if i will try to achieve my result it will be like this okay not that clear uh, also, let me make my uh, my eraser size bigger, 40. Okay. So if I will try to do this, so you can see that it's not straight. Okay. So it will take little. Uh, it it will not look nice. It is not straight. So uh, and to make it something uh, to make something straight, what you need to do is that you you have to start erasing. Click on your screen and then. Once you click on the screen, press the shift key on your keyboard. So it will keep your mouse straight. Okay. Just like this. Let me try. Let me do it again. Or do one thing. Press the shift key and then start erasing. That's much more better. Okay. So instead of uh, pressing shift key later on, let me see. 40 is fine. Okay. Press your shift key, then start erasing. Okay. First, press shift key, then you can start erasing. Your, and it will be always in a straight line. You can see it, it is straight line. Okay, so it didn't erase this one because it was not selected. Only this part was selected. Now I'm fine with this. So what I will do is that I will select all of this and convert this into a crop. Okay, so this is how you can use eraser tool with the shift. So you have to press shift key first, then start erasing. Okay, don't start erasing and then use shift. Key. Now we can create some compound objects. Compound object means suppose you want to make a hole inside an object, okay? A hole inside an object or a mask inside an object. So we do a, a mask, uh, like a uh, sorry, we, we make compound objects, okay? How we can do that? Let's go to the other one here, okay? So here I have this image, okay? Uh, and I want same result as this. Now, if I will move this uh, white circle over this one, so you can see, I see something white behind because the circle color is white. If I will move it here, you can see it doesn't look like this. Why? Because the color inside is white here. It's transparent. Okay. So if I try to move this one, you can see that this is transparent. You can see through it okay so how i can make this one transparent as well first of all let me take both of this move it a little bit here so you can see the result and then i will move it back so both of them i have selected with the help of shift key press shift key select both of them once you select both of them i will go to object clipping mask sorry uh, compound uh, path over here okay 
and then what I will do is that I will convert that into a uh, I will uh, like it like it, uh, you can say compound object. Compound object means like there will be hole inside. So let me select this uh, both of this small circle, big circle, object, compound path, and make. When I do that, the one which was overlapping, it made a hole inside the bigger one, and it's gone. Okay. So whatever is overlapped will act like a uh, driller, like a some like something that can do holes. Okay. So now. It's like a donut, so I can uh, it have a hole inside. So I will put it here, select it all, and then I can group it. Okay, so compound object, what it do? Uh, the compound path, what it do? It makes a hole inside. So how it makes the hole? The any object that is overlapping, it takes that object and makes a hole. Okay. Now let's go to the other image and let's see what we have here. So we have this, we have to convert this one to this one. Okay. Now, in order to convert this one to this one, we will use a shape builder tool. Now, what shape builder tool is heavily used in logo, uh, logo design. What actually the artist did it here? He made different shapes. Okay. He took a rectangle. Okay. And he placed it here. Let me show you what are the shapes. Then he made a, a semicircle. Not a semicircle, like a quarter circle, not a half circle. A quarter circle. Then he took the two circles and he placed them here. So these are the four pieces. Okay. So out of these four, uh, with the help of these four pieces, what he did is that he sell, uh, he placed them all together. Now with the help of uh, like a uh, shape builder tool, we can convert this thing into a shape. So what I will do, I will first work on all these which are on the top, not the bottom one. So I will make a round selection, uh, like a selection here, and they all will be selected. I, I have not selected the one which is on the bottom, and I didn't select this one. Only this uh, like quarter circle, uh, this full circle, and this rectangle. Okay. Now I will take my shape builder tool, which is this one. Now how the shape builder tool actually works? The shape builder tool works when you uh, move over any one of these objects. You can see that they are kind of getting shaded, shaded as a uh, like a dots. You will see dots over there, okay, on on them. So if I will go on this one, press my mouse, you will see it will become red. Now, if I keep on moving, you can see there is a line being created. So if I will move to this one, so what will happen? This one will also get shaded. Then I will move to this one. This one all will also get shaded. Then I will move this one and this one. The both will get shaded. Then this one, then this. All of them get got shaded. That means when I will release my mouse, they all will become a one object like this. Okay. So how, what does the shape builder tool do? It uh, combines all the objects that is on the screen and the, it will uh, it will convert that into a shape okay into a single shape now this is all done but one thing i have an issue here this thing this is i don't want i don't want this to be the part of it okay so you can see that if i go here it's not there so i don't want this to be part of it i want to remove this i want to op do the opposite okay to do the opposite, I have to press Alt on my keyboard, okay, and click on this one, or Option on your keyboard if you're using Mac and click on this one. What it do is that Alt or Option will erase, remove this one. So if I press Alt and click over here, this will be gone, okay. Now uh, I have these three objects here now: this one, this one, and this one. So I will take my selection tool. Select all of them now. Now what I want is that I want to remove this circle from it. Just like this. Okay. So I will take my shape builder tool. And this time I will not uh, start making it same. I will not make it like this. Okay. But otherwise it will become as a one piece. So what I will do here is that I will press alt on my keyboard. Then make a line only on this circle so what alt 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 will do alt will help 
me to get the uh, get the rid of this uh, shape so it will make a hole just like this now it's done okay now what i will do is that i will deselect everything and only select this shape okay then i don't want any stroke i will remove the stroke and the fill color what i want over here is uh, something like a uh, pinkish color i think somewhere like this okay so this color i will put it now let's see if it matches yes it matches okay so shape builder tool will help you to combine different shapes into one shape or shapes that you don't want uh, you can erase those with the alter option key okay uh, it's okay if you're late so you can continue from here uh, and you can find the all the lectures on uh, on the youtube okay so and also uh, i have noticed few students are uh, you know they are not usually in the class so there is an attendance all the time there is an attendance so you have to make sure you are taking classes otherwise what will happen uh, you might get warning or there will be a, a kind of a uh, like detection so make sure you take all the classes okay now if i will go here to the next one I will see something like this. Okay. I want to convert this into a door. Now you know two or three different methods to combine objects. First method was that what uh, was what to use the uh, compound object. But compound compound object usually is to make holes, not that reliable. Shape builder tool can do that. Okay. But we have another method which is more flexible, and that is called Pathfinder. Okay, now this part of the door and this part of the door, you can see that it's uh, not a big deal. We have to, uh, we should be worrying more about this circle and this door, this rectangle. Combining this uh, circle and this door, I will get this kind of, uh, like this circle and this uh, rectangle, I will get this door. So let's work on it. Okay, so I will take this circle, press shift key and select this rectangle now i have one more tool here which is called uh, unite so uh, sorry which is called pathfinder in the pathfinder you have different modes if you want to join two things together you will use unite okay rest we will study in the uh, other classes because all of them will give you different results okay but the unite right now i will use and unite means it will join two objects together so if i will press unite so they both become one but it does not look like this okay because you can see there is a a little bit uh, like a slant over here and i cannot change the shape of it okay i cannot move it it will be very hard for me to do now okay even if i double click it i cannot you can you cannot uh, like I, I cannot do it as much i will double click on it to go inside this i won't know uh, i won't be able to do anything okay so this means i have to perform such a method that will allow me to reshape it after i have done the unite so how to do that let me undo again i will press unite again but this time i will press unite with the alt key or option key on my keyboard if mac then option if windows then alt what it will do is that if you press alt key and press unite it will later on allow you to reshape even if it is uh, like uh, you know uh, it's kind of united so if, if i will press alt key and then click on the unite button same result but you can see the borders are still there that means i can move it but how to move it to move it i have to double click this shape when i double click this i will move inside the compound shape you can see that i'm inside now I can take this top circle and start pulling it down, moving it down until I get the result I'm looking for. So you can see that it's a, it's very procedural and it's working dynamically. Okay. So now I have that shape. Now I can do simple. I can go out. Okay. Press the arrow key uh, or like a couple of times and I'm out. Now this is what I was looking for. Exactly the same thing. So now what I can do is that I can select this okay 
I can go to the fill, uh, choose this pink color. This is light. There is no stroke, so I will select the stroke and remove the stroke. Okay. So as simple as that, it was done. So what I did was that I just pressed the Alt key on my keyboard and then selected the Unite. So that later on, if I want to change it, I can easily change it. Now let's do one thing here. Let's bring, uh, let's uh, take all of this here and can uh, and make it as a group. Now I will bring all these, the one that I converted here. Okay, this one as well. So I will try to uh, put them in their places. This cylinder, I will put it here somewhere. And it, you can see the smart guide is helping me, okay, to put it in the center or like that. Let me move this one a little bit far away. This one, I wanted it in the center. And you can see the smart guide is helping me to arrange it, okay. So you can see smart guides on the sides, on the middle, it's in the center, okay. Now what I want, I want this one to be in the center of the wheel. So if I will go here, the smart guide is now guiding me that it is in the center. Now I will take the door. Door I can put anywhere, it doesn't matter. But there should be an equal gap between the door and the cylinder. And you can see that it, I have that gap now. Okay. A little bit down with the arrow key on the keyboard, you can also move up and down or left or right. So this is done. I will select all of it okay and group it so this made it uh, like a, a, a carrier uh, like that now we can also do reshaping to do the reshaping let's go to this one you can see this is again what is this this is a line it's not a, a shape there is straight line there is stroke of 10 uh, point and there is a uh, and there is no fill here what I want is that I want to convert this into this kind of a shape. Now, how to do that? There is a reshaping option here. If you go to rotate here, you will see that there is a reshape. Okay. So reshape, usually if you don't see, uh, because sometimes it's not there. So you have to click this three dots button, find the reshape over here. Okay. And then you can drag it wherever you want. So I dragged it inside my... Uh, rotate tool so it's there okay now what does the reshape do the reshape helps you to reshape your uh like paths so this is my path okay i will take my reshape tool and i can click on any uh area of the path and start to move it now you can see that i was able to move this like here maybe i can go here and move it to this side and now you can see how it looks like okay so I reshaped it, uh, something like this, okay? So now you can see that this part is little thicker, oh sorry, a little thinner from both ends and this in between is very thick. So how I can do this? To do this, there is a uh, tool here which is called shape, uh, sorry, a width tool. Now how to find the width tool? The width tool is over here. This is the width tool. So if I take the width tool, I can go to any part of my path which I want to uh, make it wider, like suppose in the middle. Click there, and then you can drag your mouse up or down, and you can see it is becoming thicker or thinner. So I will make it thinner like this. Now, if you will notice, the ends are thin, are, are a bit pointy. So what I will do, I will go to each end and when I go to each end, it will show me this kind of a line. That means I am on this end. Otherwise, if I am here, it will show a circle on the path, okay, which means I am not on where I want it. So I will go here. As soon as I will go, I will click my mouse and start to reshape this one. This one, I can make a little thinner, okay. Same thing, I will go down, go here and you will see this line. This line means I am going to adjust this. So I will make it thinner as like this. When I'm done, okay, so I need some extra here. So to make something extra, what you can do is that first of all, you can convert this now into a, a uh, like a, uh, uh, like a uh, outline stroke, like a shape. Right now it's not a shape because it's a path. You can see the line is there, okay. 
So I can go to object, I can go to the path and outline stroke. So now it is a stroke. Now it's a shape. Oh, sorry. Now it's not a stroke. It's a shape now. Okay. So what I will do here is that I will make a copy with the help of Alt key on my keyboard and move it here. Now here it's quite small. You can see that and it's flipped also. So what I will do, I will make it small with the help of shift key. So it will uh, stay uniform. Then I will move it here and you can see that this one is flipped. To flip it, you have to make sure it is selected. Then inside your properties, you will see horizontal flip and then you have vertical flip. Okay. So I will choose the horizontal flip and it will flip at that side. Now I can make another copy and I can move it down. This one I have to flip it to the other side. So it will be like this. Okay. So this is, you can make your uh, different shapes here. Okay. So now what I can do is that let me arrange it a little bit far here. Okay. I can select all of it, convert this into a group. I will press the group here. Now it is a group. Now if I will zoom out, you can see there is a fire here. So I will take this one, place it on top of the fire. So it will look like a smoke. And then this whole fire thing I will select convert this into group as well okay so this is how you can uh, edit your shapes okay now the end thing is that we are done i will start putting things together okay those which i i made by myself okay so uh, like which i edited here so i will take this one car uh, like a like a camper uh, you can say carrier this car here but I have to zoom it here so it can easily join here because if you want a perfect uh, work so you have to zoom in and I have to make sure there is an equal gap between here and here okay so it will remain balanced so that's fine I will take this camp here put it somewhere oops this is not a group so I have to select it all make it as a group now it's a group so I can select this Put it somewhere here. Okay. Now, uh, what else is left? This or uh, this leaf. So, what I can do, I can take this one, put it somewhere here. Now, I will take this fire and put this fire here. You can go to view, fit artboard in the window. Okay. And go here. And you can see all of them are arranged. And as I, uh, as I said, like you can do any kind of editing, okay, on your existing object and you can make anything out of it. So you can see all these are made from the shapes and you can see it looks uh, nice, looks good. Okay. And simple shape, simple editing, nothing fancy over here, but uh, as simple it is, it looks very attractive. Okay. Any questions so far, everyone? Everything is clear. Okay, uh, I have uh, I have to show you one thing here. Uh, I just uh, postponed your uh, your first assignment. The reason is that because we were supposed to finish from lesson one till lesson uh, ten to in order to finish our first assignment, but we were not finished, so I extended it to I think uh, some a few more dates. So. Let me share the screen here. Okay. So if you see here, I have uh, the course here, Simon. Now I have here uh, assignment one, midterm project, assignment two, final project. Okay. So assignment one is now 27th of October. So hopefully by 27th, we will be done with our uh, first 10 uh, chapters. Then you will be able to do it. Okay. Yes. Uh, it have to be same. The reason is that because if you will see the PDF file, 
the colors are already given there. So that's the part of your project, how to select a given color. Okay. So that's uh, like you can see here. So you have to choose the same color. Okay. You have to stick to the same color here. Okay. And uh, it's now on 27th. Okay. So here, this is the final project. I just uh, placed it here. Okay. Let me do one correction. The T is missing here. Okay. Now, uh, oops, I made it T capital. Here. Okay. Now, uh, I'll explain about the final project right now. Okay. Uh, everything is given there, okay, including the rubric, but still I will explain it to you. And uh, for your projects, whenever you are done, okay, and whatever date uh, is given there, we, uh, you will be doing a, a presentation on the day of your, uh, on like the due date. The due date for your final project is 30th December. So on 30th December, you will present this, okay. So, you have a logo project as you all uh, like know now what you have to do is that that logo project you will be designing for a company that does not exist it should be your own created company okay so don't uh, design a logo for of an existing company you have to think about the company you have to come with a uh, like come up with a concept and uh, you should invent your own company and make a logo of it so that uh, project will be done for your midterm okay but you will continue that in the final how you will take that logo and then you will design uh, like a letterhead business card envelope okay cd level uh, like a uh, like cd lab, like label any package design okay and uh, anything else uh, anything else means like menu shopping bag place mat like a gift item or souvenir package design means suppose you your company is like a uh like a product so package of that product okay if your company is not a product it's a service so what you can do is that you can make it uh like a uh something related to the service like it uh, you know uh, usually when you go to the company they give you a pack of a uh, like you know a, a brochure in a uh, in a nice uh envelope or sleeve so that you can do also okay so all the details are given here and you have to make a six pages report okay on microsoft word you can see what you have to include everything is like given here here is a powerpoint slide and in the powerpoint slide if you will open it up uh, there are samples okay samples of it uh, of of uh, the final project okay something like this you can see the letterhead and everything here and this is all digital so you have to create uh, as this okay so these are some examples here now usually they use mock-up files okay now what is a mock-up file the mock-up uh, are uh, like a ready-made 3d file you just place your own artwork on it and it will convert that into a 3d something like this okay so uh, some are free some are not free so let me share it with you let me search for like some good mock-up uh, for you okay uh, so uh, what I will do over here is that I will share this screen with you here let me refresh it this is called smart mockup smart mockups okay uh, get started for free you just click over here okay and I think you have to log in but let's try oh you have to or you have to make an account okay but anyhow what it do is that when you uh, make an account over here, okay, like there is an intro here, you can watch how to do it. So you can take your design, place it, and it will make it look like this. 
okay so this you can use it so you have uh, technology uh, mockups social media mockups print mockups packaging mockups okay so uh, if you have seen I, uh, I told you that you have to do a package design if you have a product so you can use this package mockup for that purpose okay uh, so what it do is that all your design it will put it just like this it will give you a blank uh, like a like a blank sort of a uh, item and when you place your own it will look like this okay so you have home decor something like this so it will be blank like this when you will place your item it will become like this. it will look like this apparel like uh, suppose clothes suppose maybe you have a fashion design company so you can do here okay so some good stuff but in illustrator the logo the design you have to create your own mockups are just there to make it look nicer okay so uh the website is here smart mockup okay i can also type it here so anytime you can go check you have to have your own account here okay everyone so uh we'll meet in the next class till then if uh, if you have any question you can ask me now okay is there any question is everything clear the map copy uh, from depot and i have downloaded it okay uh, there is anyone needs it for mac uh, mac users so i can post it here in the chat um, yes i need it sure I, I will post it right now uh, you can download it but uh, plus I, I will just post the username and password for for uh, for for us um, and i'll i'll be, I'll be okay and one more thing is that if you are using it because there are not uh, many licenses so whenever you get the license you have to uh, tell deepu that you have the license okay like suppose if you will give it to someone here so that person have to uh, inform deepu that he is using the license so he can note down the number uh, like the id otherwise 29 licenses okay so if the all of them will finish so he will not be aware that who is using okay to avoid any kind of a technical error or anything you can uh, like whoever is using just uh, inform deepu okay so it will be fine okay clear everyone okay okay Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. So take care, everyone, and uh, we'll uh, we'll continue in the next class uh, a new uh, like uh, topic.